Hello, today let me talk about sound. Uh, right now I'm recording sound off the camera, it's a T3i, and I'm going to talk about um, lavalier, lavaliers. There's wireless ones, um, which I can talk about, and this is a wired one here. So let me talk a little bit about this one here. This is a Boya BY-M1, and uh, basically I'll open up the package here. I know some of y'all like actually seeing these unboxing videos and see the, all the cool little things that come along with it and everything. So um, here is basically what you see here. Mostly the little windscreen there fell off, but there is what it looks like. So we have uh, basically some type of holder there, the little uh, wind uh, sleeve for it, um, the microphone, of course, and then uh, basically a quarter-inch adapter. And this is the, the winning thing right here. You see those three things there? That means you can actually use this on your cell phone. Uh, so if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, basically I guess any type of cell phone that's kind of a smartphone, you could use that potentially to record uh, audio on it. And basically, uh, one of the problems when you plug into, like say my T3i, I have a microphone input, well it's going to be you know this here. And if you know anything about recording, there's balance and there's unbalanced. So this is what they call an unbalanced. An XLR is balanced. And basically you get those three separations and you got a ground. Um, this here, you're going to get a little bit of hiss. So what you're going to try to do is get the as least amount of hiss as possible. Well, I got this one um, for $20. And I'll put a link in the um, show notes there. And I'll put the little wind screen on. And it's just a typical little wind screen. And it shouldn't be too difficult to put on. There we go. That helps out a lot. Put the little clip on. Looks like a pretty good clip. Kind of reminds me of a guitar capo. Like a really small guitar capo. Just fasten it on. I guess it really doesn't matter which way. Typically, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. So. Put it right there. And since I got a kind of a dark suit on today, you may not notice it as much. And then I got a little um, battery here. These little uh, batteries that are common for various things, microphones and whatnot. So let me just open it up. I haven't read the instructions, but I'm assuming, and I was right, there's a little place to put the battery in there. So I'll put the battery. I assume it's going to be facing up. And this is so you can get uh, basically phantom power um, for your DSLRs. And, come on, the one there we go. Got it, got it in there. And I'll just tighten this up. And uh, this little unit right here, it says camera and smartphone. So the camera is going to use battery. And it has a little green. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a green. And then the cell phone is going to use, uh, not use a battery. Look at this cable here. I think it's like 20 feet. And so uh, one of the big things about making, you know, uh, as you can hear right now, I'm kind of next to uh, the main drag here in uh, Nacogdoches, so you hear a lot of cars go by. Uh, one of the things about uh, when you do audio is that, you know, audio is kind of very important when you, make, um, when you make films, short films and whatnot. And if you don't have good audio, um, that's one thing. People can kind of forgive a, a bad picture, they like the story, but if they can't understand it, then I, I guess in some ways you get like a silent film. And here's something that I use sometimes as well. Uh, most of the time you want to just use mono and it's fine, but something like this could potentially make it work in stereo. I haven't tried that out yet, but it fits. So that could potentially get it to be uh, stereo if you want that. In uh, film school, one thing that we used to do back in the old days was basically do what, we, what I call a 60-40 split. And that way, you make it a little bit soft, make one side a little bit soft, you make another side a little bit hot. And that way, if someone's too soft or talking, you got a hot one. If someone's too loud, you got a soft one, that way it won't peak. Uh, some recorders have that built in. Um, you know, usually the DSLR cameras won't have that. So here is the audio from the camera. And I also have audio, again, from this Tascam, this is the second system that's here. And I got it basically arm link away from me, and that's kind of the rule. You want it to be kind of arm link away from where your mouth is at uh, as, a, as the furthest point on there. So with this here, being 20 feet, I could 
theoretically go outside and go 20 feet away and have this camera really far away and you you would be able to hear the audio obviously the built-in audio you'd be this very faint especially with these cars going by so i'm going to stop the camera for a moment i'm going to plug this in and let's see how the audio sounds okay so now i have audio coming from the lavalier so i'll touch it probably hearing that and with this windscreen on hopefully i'm not getting a lot of scratches if i move around you're probably hearing that um, so but if I'm, I'm relatively still, you're probably getting some decent audio there. And I put this on audio, so let me try this on manual and see how it sounds. All right, and so right now I'm actually talking to you where it's on manual mode. I looked at it where I'm sitting at, where I'm talking, and saw the levels kind of where I want the levels to be at. So hopefully that's a really cool sound there and hopefully that works. And I see a little uh, microphone um, picture in um, and the camera right now, let me know that I'm actually have this manual audio going on right now. So audio is a very important part. So let me show you uh, something else. I do have wireless um, lobs as well. And uh, this one is not balanced. So it's, it's you know, it's decent. The, the microphone's fine. And of course, it's a lot better than not having anything else at all. So uh, they have a certain sound to it as well. And so usually wired is going to be a better choice if you can. It's a lot more economical. This was about $20, which is not too bad. It's not too shabby. Okay, so now I'm back to the recorder, built-in recorder there uh, on the camera. And I got the, the lob off. I got my cell phone here. I'm just going to use the built-in uh, one from Apple. And I'm going to plug it into the headphone jack. Now, sadly, a lot of the new iPhones don't have this, but there's still plenty of these older ones out there. And you can get them relatively cheap, and you know, honestly, if it's like a probably even if it's like an iPhone 4, it would probably be fine. 4S, 5, 5S, all those have headphone jacks. 6s have headphone jacks, I believe, as well. So, what I need to do is turn off the uh, put it on for camera because I don't need it to be uh, powered. And um, let's see. Can I record? Hello, right now, and you can see right there, you've got some levels going on. It looks pretty good. It looks like the levels are pretty good there. So I could use this as a pocket um, recorder, and uh, that would be a, a really economical way of uh, doing some things. So obviously I'll put this audio in, in there. I'll, I believe you can email this to yourself or um, transfer it one way or another. So i got this audio going in using this lobs, and... Of course, at that point there, I can be a thousand feet away from the camera because as long as I got this in my pocket and I'm recording, typically what I do is I clap to kind of sync up the sound and post. So that way when I'm syncing it in post, I have, have something to, to figure out. But a lot of times if you don't if you forget to do that, you can usually figure out where the audio is at with the first word or the last word of what's being said. So anyways... Um, so far, uh, I think this, this, this seems to be working well. I haven't heard the audio yet. Um, but again, kind of an economical way of trying it out. This is a Boya uh, BY-M1 um, LOV. And uh, you know, if I touch it, probably hearing that a little bit. And uh, you know, uh, we'll see how the audio is. I'm just going to suspect it's going to uh, be a lot better than the built-in audio of the camera, of course. So right now I'm outside with the live microphone and the cars are going by and I'm guessing you can still kind of hear me at least a lot better than normally. Uh, you can see the cars go past me there. This is how it sounds with the built-in audio right now as the cars are going by. And we'll step back in the middle about 20 feet to see how it sounds. So I'm back a couple of feet. I'm actually talking a little bit louder. This is kind of how I was talking when I had the volume. So I'm not even hearing the difference the audio. You don't even hear me at all as these cars are going past me. So right now, you can see how far back I am from the camera. Uh, basically, you can see the lob wire, wire here. And the cars are going by. And uh, really kind of curious how this potentially sounds uh, as well. So it is really noisy right now. I'm not talking too loud. And various cars and motorcycles are going by. So I'm sure you're getting some of this road traffic. But maybe you can at least hear, hear me at least a little bit clearer. So, it's kind of an interesting experiment to see how this uh, lav works uh, outside. It definitely has a lot of space, as you can see right here. 
as always, rock and roll, and of course, it does compete.